All right, it is file upload time. But before we get into file uploads, we're gonna make this change thing be a file upload, it's gonna be great. But before we get into that, we need to get rid of Paul Weimer's face. We need to implement a basic avatar strategy using Gravatar, um, and then we'll do the file upload stuff. So this is a little bit of a precursor video to set up our environment in the app so that we're actually using real avatars uh, from Gravatar. So if you've not heard of Gravatar, it's pretty awesome. It's this free, easy service where basically you put a Gravatar URL and an image tag and you pass in an email address and it will scour the internet and like pick the best picture for that email address. And if it can't find one, it shows you a default. Um, it's super easy to use and we're gonna use it. So basically anywhere where we're showing an avatar, we're actually going to call on Gravatar. So first, let's, uh, let's find everywhere you're, we're using this icon and abstract it into a method on the user model. Um, so we can just call auth user avatar URL or something like that. And it'll give us the Gravatar URL and we'll do the same thing here. So we're gonna go into layouts, base. Uh, nope, this is gonna be layouts app. Uh, base is the base base one. So we want app. And then inside of app, we have this sidebar for desktop. And then here's the image tag with the stock photo from Unsplash. So let's add an alt called profile photo. And then we're gonna add a source uh, and we're gonna get this off the user model. So auth user avatar URL, okay. And now let's also add this same bit to to the Livewire component, this profile page. So we're gonna to go to profile.blade.php. If you're not familiar with this profile component, we've been building it all along. So if you are if you need to fill in gaps, there's plenty of screencasts before this one to do that. So here's our little input group for this photo. And instead of this SVG, we are going to put in, oops, let's, uh, yeah, let's get an image tag going here. And then this whole chunk, we are going to swap a rune right here, okay. Now we refresh and we get a failure, of course, because avatar URL doesn't exist, duh. So in user.php, that model, we need to add that method. So, whoops, method avatar URL. And then here we're gonna return a Gravatar link. So let's just return an empty string and these are just gonna be images that don't exist for now. Okay, now we need to figure out how to use Gravatar. So basically Gravatar's API is just a get request. Uh, it's great, I love tools like this. So eventually, so we end up passing um, the email address to the URL in the image source attribute, but it wants us to MD5 hash it. And on top of that, it wants us to trim empty sp or trim spaces and make it lowercase. Uh, so we're gonna do that. And then when we do that, Gravatar image requests, basically we just add it on to this URL here. So here's the Gravatar URL, we have hash. So we're gonna concatenate on our hash. It's gonna be an MD5 hash. It's gonna be lowercase, we're gonna use string to lower and we're gonna trim white space on both ends. And uh, let's actually use my personal email so you can see it work here. So, oh my gosh, I'm showing you my personal email. That's fine, right? Okay. <laughs> um, all right refresh and there you go so check it out gravatar is just magic it just scoured the internet and found like a good avatar for me it's pretty old but uh whatever all right so caleb or your gmail we don't actually want that for all of our users um we're just going to pass in this arrow email which is the email field on the user so there we go we are now and that's the gravatar uh default stock photo all right, so I feel good about this. I feel like we're at a place where we can at least start talking about handling file uploads. So in the next video, we're gonna set up our storage um, file systems for actually storing the files, and then we're gonna get to the uploads. So see you in the next video.